everyone, I'm just going to do a quick care video on um, the banjo catfish, which is one of my favourite well groups of fish. And they generally belong to the genus um, Bunocephalus. So this is Bunocephalus covacoides. Um, I do have a gonomai, but I don't think she's going to come out. She, he, more likely. I have at least one female in the group, um, four of this species, the coracoides, and one gonari. And there's many others, and they all get sold as banjo catfish, usually as Bunocephalus um, coracoides. So they all come from South America and belong to the family Asperidinidae, which includes the eel-tailed banjo catfish, but that's from another subfamily to the Bunocephalus. And these guys only get to a maximum of 15 centimetre standard length, where and um, Gnaro about 12 centimetre standard length, whereas the um, Platystaticus eeltail banjo gets to a whopping 30 centimetre standard length, and there's different care requirements altogether. So this is mostly an insectivorous um, genus, eating mostly sort of. Oh, they will eat a bit of detritus stuff, but they're mostly looking at... So about the camera, it's kind of not responding well to lighting more than anything. Um, so they eat sort of insects and um, larvae there along the bottom of the river. They are so soft water, but they can go up to 8 pH, so they're not particularly that fussy. So they've got sandy substrate and places to hide, so they will really benefit from this. Also, oh, that's my clown pet. Panic this because I just got moved. Um, so, um, what else? Their temperature range isn't fussy at all. They can go down to 21 degrees, but I wouldn't keep them down that low long term. Um, a maximum of about 27. Um, generally, they're unfussy. This genus isn't. There is an egg-eating genus, and they only really can get confused with members of their same genus. They're not the easiest to identify, hence the, lot, the use of SP a lot, referring to species, or SPP referring to multiple species. Um, they can get confused with another genus, which is Pseudobunocephalus, which is re a recent one. And the way you could tell apart easier is looking at the mouth where you, um in Buno stuff this oh my camera's not that clear is it is it gonna focus no in Buno cephalus it the two mouths do not meet well it's the Buno cephalus and two mouths but the both mouth parts don't meet and in Pseudobunocephalus they do and they're a lot smaller so they look like juveniles of Bunocephalus but Bunocephalus gets bigger and they're always almost sold as um, banjo catfish due to their appearance and they kind of camouflage as a leaf although you will have also noticed they don't move they tend to spend most of their time if they're on top of the substrate sat like this or the below the substrate sat like that as well. And it's part of their camouflage protection. They are quite bony plated. Well, not bony plated, but like solid. And they, their pectorals are pretty sharp if you get stabbed by them. But they're peaceful. They will eat stuff like shrimp and anything smaller. Other than that, I've there's no real issues with them. Um, the larger platystatus cross in the forest wouldn't go well with anything that does fit in them of being larger, but I'll do a separate video when I eventually get some because they're one of my favourites. But I don't have the space for them. And they prefer a bit of blackish anyway. Um, but they're hardy. They're not too popular really just because they don't do anything. And they are not even, they're not cl closely related to the Plex Loricardae at all, even though they do look similar. I believe they're more closely related to Pimlidae. So, also about my camera. Got nowhere to put it, so it's just sitting up there. Um, mine does eat with Pashy Soylent Green, but that's mainly for the paniculus in the tank. Um, I will be trying to breed them eventually, and they generally are reported to be quite easy to breed. So my clown at the back. Um, 
any questions I can answer them generally on the species. I do have five in the genus in here, but where they are, God knows really half the time. So usually I find them during water changes and that's most people will never see the individuals till they get too big to actually hide easily. But you can see they're lovely and they're my favourites because they are just so unusual. And I don't think there's any other fish like them. Uh, so thank you for watching.